The United States needs more teachers. We have a shortage of more than 100,000 teachers. Rose McBride is telling us how the Department of Education here in Kentucky is looking to fill that gap. After 27 years in the Army, Neil Gibbs retired as a first sergeant at Fort Knox. As a first sergeant, you are responsible for everyone's well-being, welfare. So, you, you know, I have maybe 500 soldiers. That experience prepared him for his next challenge, teaching middle school in Hardin County. He gained important skills in the Army that he uses while teaching. How to coordinate and collaborate and you know, get along with people. Gibbs went back to school after he retired from the Army to get his teaching certification. But there's another way veterans can become teachers. The Kentucky Department of Education provides a path for veterans to get their teaching licenses called the Kentucky Veterans to Education Program. It's been around for decades, but within the last year, KDE is working to attract more people to become teachers. And it's a good fit. It's been a good fit over the years. The recent push is to try to reduce the teacher shortage in Kentucky. About 7.3 percent of all teachers left the profession between the academic years of 2010 and 2018, according to a study by the state's Legislative Research Commission. That's 28,000 teachers. KDE's veteran coordinator Norma Andrade says veterans have many skills that transfer over to a classroom. They're able to relate to the students in real life situations. They're used to working as teams um, and they become a part of a team in the school system. Gibbs is now leading a team as the assistant principal at College View in Elizabethtown. He's not only using his 10 years of teaching experience, but his decades in the military to relate to his students. The experience that I had, that's one of the key things that really gets me, helps me build a relationship with the students. For WHS 11, I'm Rose McBride.